So we're just going to take a look at changing the thermal fuse and in fact dismantling the whole ceramic plate assembly. Uh, this is from a pair of GHD Mark V's but this same mounting part can be found in the um, uh, older 4.2 Type 2 models as well. Now there is a very easy way to just change the thermal fuse and I'm just going to put this down. Very tricky to get this filmed when the camera is not quite in the right position but just move that slightly to the left and with your side cutters we just go in and cut each wire of the thermal fuse. You can then pull the, the wires out at the end and grasping in the wire that's a bit of wire that's left, you can just gently pull and slide the faulty thermal fuse out. Now to replace the thermal fuse, you can you can either get you can either see if you can wiggle the new fuse in and through the silicon rubber that's at the end but the easiest way is if you can find something like this it's just a bit of spring steel with a little hook on the end and you can feed that through the silicon rubber pop one of the eyelets on and carefully pull that back through if you just bend it over slightly so it doesn't go back feed the tool back through the silicon rubber, grab the other eyelet and carefully pull through. At this point you just need enough cable to be able to lift up the metal tang just a little bit, don't force that and sliding it back in and taking up the slack of the cable it will click back into place uh, like that. Now if that's all you had to do on that side it is then safe to reassemble that. If the thermal fuse is blown the usual reason is a faulty thermistor on the other arm and uh, in the next video we'll show you how to remove that. Do remember that the heater elements, the connections are the two inner PCB screws and the thermal fuse is mounted on the two outer screw holes to uh, take up the extra length you just need to bend it's much easier when these are in the arm just bend the wires over like that uh, so they're not um, touching the element or getting in the way of the circuit board as you can see uh, there uh, so that's that well, I'm now going to show you how to completely dismantle it if there's nothing wrong with the thermal fuse but perhaps the element has broken. Uh, generally with these you can slide the mounting part, the plastic, off to the left and if you're very lucky the whole lot will come out with it. So we're moving the metal spring clip and the element, the whole thing's sliding out and once it gets a certain distance it will come free you can take off the mount, the metal clip, thermal fuse and the element. So if that element was uh, broken you could fit a new element now. Thin even coating of thermal paste over every new element and in fact even if you've got this apart and the element doesn't need replacing an old element will probably have a lot of dry thermal paste on there so clean that off and uh, apply some fresh thermal paste to, be, to the old element. Assemble by putting it in and just bedding it in by moving it side to side. The spring clip can be positioned correctly Make sure that curved piece there is actually on the element. Don't have it off the element like that, otherwise it's not in good contact and not doing its job. So you click it in one side and then bend it and click it into place. If you find it a little bit too hard, just use a screwdriver just to make sure you've got that pressed in place. 
At this point, you can easily fit the new. I'll try and turn this around and do it the wrong way around. That's not how we do them normally, but I've got the camera set up awkwardly here today. But you just feed the thermal fuse wires through the silicon, lift up the tab very slightly, just enough to allow you to click that into place. At this point you would clean up all the wires, separate them out. Now this particular type of mount is just held in place by four plastic pieces there and that does allow you to line up one side like that. The other side isn't in place but with pressure on here and here you can push this down and click it into place. I'm going to try and do this backwards so you can hopefully see. And that's it. And that is now back in place. We've got thermal paste everywhere, but uh, that will wipe off in a minute. Wipe off any excess thermal paste from the exterior and the plate. Make sure the wires and the eyelets are all clean. And then just attach that. Uh, as mentioned before. Not forgetting to put back the two pieces of silicon rubber that allow a little bit of compression on the ceramic plate allows it to move and tilt a little bit. Also underneath this in the arm you will find a small uh, piece of uh, heat proof well, it's a sort of felt almost and uh, that needs to be in place as well. If you break any of these parts uh, they're all available from us on our shop. Uh, the, again if you've got any pieces of silicon missing, you've lost some, damaged it, do contact us. Uh, we haven't got all of the silicon listed on the shop, there's dozens of different types but we can supply any missing silicon from any of the GHD range of hair straighteners.